Hi guys, uh, it's been a quite a while since I haven't filmed the English version because we just do the Japanese version. So today I want to introduce Japanese country style deep soba noodle soup. This is kind of very simple and I think you can enjoy it. And also it's easy to buy on outside of Japan, the ingredients I mean. Uh, you can go to the supermarket or like, um, not the local one, but um, some kind of a downtown uh, international supermarket or something like that. If you go there, you can find those ingredients what we use today. So, I think many of you want to come over to Japan, enjoy some Japanese food, but uh, unfortunately, the situation doesn't allow it, us to you know, move around like we used to. So today I want to introduce uh, pork, Japanese leek, soba noodle. Okay, let's go on start. Okay, what we use is um, those sliced pork, sliced pork. And if you can find these Japanese style leek, negi, uh, it's best. best. Actually, for you guys uh, who is doing the halal or other reason you're gonna take pork, maybe you can use the chicken or other vegetables too. Uh, this dips, dipping soba noodle soup, usually my uh, grandma prepared it for like festival or when the uh, relatives come together to my place and you know, it's like a typical festival food and for the season it's, uh, we use the seasonal vegetable in it, so you can use anything like uh, eggplant, aubergine in, in it, or like aubergine with chicken, or pork with other uh, carrots, or those root vegetables, anything you like. So this is really good because um, we can have the protein and vegetable together. So let's gonna start it. And first, let's prepare the pork. Okay, this is a sliced pork, but um, let's slice a little bit smaller so it's easy to have later on. In Japan, <clears throat> it's very easy to buy those sliced pork, but some of you can treat that not easy, so maybe that time you can use a chicken and then slice it. Okay. Mm. Actually, I like the pork the best. Uh, more than chicken, I think. So, I love this one. When I was small, like, I usually have, like, um, I don't know, two or three bowls of it. And then the noodles, like, um, like this amount, we can, I can finish it by myself. But now, I'm... I can't do that anymore. I'm too old. Okay, pork is ready. And now the leek. I recommend you to use those green part for this little recipe. Cut like this. Mm -hmm. Maybe this way is better. Bigger is okay because um, it's gonna be very soft when it's cooked, so don't worry. Maybe I can use a little bit more. Okay, let's use all of it. Mm -hmm. Then, okay. It's ready. Okay, then let's start cooking. Please prepare this kind of pan and put some oil. This time I use the sesame oil. Heat it up, make it ready. It takes a quite a while. When I have this uh, dipping soba, you know, soba noodle, I always uh, rem you know, remember those um, happy children's days 
when the, all the relatives come together and having fun, laugh a lot. That's kind of a good memory. I think it's ready. Put the pork first. Mm. That's really good. You don't need to actually uh, stir it by well. Just put it first. And get the uh, pork fat comes out. So the, the soup itself is really going to be tasty. That's very good. Pork and leaves. Maybe. Do not remove the pan from the fire so the pan's temperature goes down. Just keep it and keep the temperature at a thing. So that's a, one of the tips. To make a good food. Okay, once the sesame oil goes all the way to the pork and meat, I put some water. Okay. Then we simmer the leek and pork. Wait until it comes to boil. This is kind of a very basic um, ingredients that leek and pork for a Japanese. Actually, we can put this one, we can make this uh, recipe a little bit uh, sweeter so that then we put that on the rice, so it's gonna be like a gyudon, beef bowl style. Actually, this is a pork, that's a pork, pork bowl is ready. So, I think for a Japanese, this taste is quite um, popular and kind of a, uh, our, how do you say, Japanese soul food, maybe, yeah. Let's wait till it comes to a boil. Mm -hmm. Just take a few minutes. Be ready. Okay, as you can see, it comes to the boil and the pork is cooked. Then use this soba to you. I think you can buy it in the supermarket. This is uh, another soy sauce. Um, this is soy sauce with other like, uh, sugars and the dashi, the broth, so that uh, we don't need to put many things together. It's already in here. Um, we put in here. And don't, don't put it too much. It's going to be very strong. So, I think like this. So usually like, I, yeah, dipping sauce is like one cup of the soba tsuyu and we use a five cups of water. Hmm. Okay, see, it's almost ready. So easy. If you cannot buy those soba to you in the supermarket nearby, I will write down the recipe how to make it by yourself. I will write down later, so you, you will check it later, please. Okay, mmm, smells very good. Now the soup is ready, so let's move it to the noodle itself. Okay, then let's prepare the noodles. Um, maybe you already know that. Um, we have soba noodle and we have udon noodle. For soba, we use a sobako and udon is like flour, so it's different. But for this soup, you can use anything you like. You like. This is um, a special one, like a whole wheat one, and this is 100% soba. 
usually what you have in the town, the soba, are mixed with the flour. So like the cheaper one has more flour and less soba. And this one is 100%. Mm -hmm. This one is special from the Yamagata, so like a black, black rice soba has the black rice flour in it, powder in it. So today I want to use this one, udon, from the Toyama Prefecture. And as you can see, please prepare the boil hot water with a uh, bigger pan is better. And maybe I put it like this. This is for like. Or two person? Yeah. Sound there. And boil. Usually it takes for udon, dried udon and soba, it takes like six to seven minutes to prepare it. But if you can buy the uh, somen, the udon, it's kind of a udon batter thinner one is only like 60 seconds so it's kind of quick it's ready so for the summertime uh, in Japan it's very uh, hot and humid so the ladies don't want to go into the kitchen and cook them so so many the quick cook noodle is quite popular it's like 60 seconds boil and then cool down and then it's ready and then you can use this soba soup for their uh, somen too. So you can use anything. But for a pasta, I don't recommend this. So please go to the supermarket. Let's find the uh, please, please find the soba or an udon. And as you can, see, you see, boil well. You have to boil. Don't just simmer. Just have to boil. And mixed time to time. So let's get them ready. Okay, it seems like it's ready now. So six, seven minutes passed. Then usually please do it on the kitchen sink. But for now, I will do the alternative way. Okay, let's take this out and um, Remove the hot water, and then I want to ask you to wash. So go to the sink, uh, at the kitchen sink, make the water runs, and then wash it and cool it down. Okay, I want to wash a little bit more. Okay, wash it. I think you can see this kind of things at the ramen shop in Japan. Okay, I think it's ready. Okay, good enough. Then, like this. Make the noodles ready and then I always uh, look at my grandma did this, but she's a kind of a professional that I'm not the professional yet. So, for take noodles for one portion and then put it on the plate like this. So it's easy to take one portion and then put it to the soup later. No? like this. Take one portion, make it round, and put that. Take it out, make it together, and then put it on. And maybe you already know that uh, four, that's not a good number for Japanese, as uh, it sounds she. Four is she, that means that. So Japanese doesn't like that, so we make it five. Okay. Five. 
five. Okay. Ready? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. And soup is here. Okay. That's put a lot of pork in it so that you can enjoy. It smells so good. Okay, now it's ready. Japanese style deep sobo noodle soup. Here you go. Please enjoy. If you do not understand the details of recipe, recipe, I will write down the details later on the uh, comment lines. So please check it later. Um, please give me the comment if you need to uh, need more advice. For what kind of ingredients we need to okay thank you for watching and please give me the sub up if you like and please subscribe to the channel thank you very much for watching hope to see you later soon bye guys